this is my just my naive personal explanation of how I got to be here. Okay. I grew up in an extremely schizophrenic society. I was growing up <clears throat> in the 1980s socialist Yugoslavia, okay, in a religious family. So there were, from the young age, two ideologies that were competing for my brain. One was the one that happened in school, and the other one was the one that happened in church, okay? The net result of that is that none stuck, okay? So, but also, so they, 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 they beat each other by like they destroyed each other they canceled out so but also i think that deep childhood experience and as a youngster i think from that what i took away was in fact some sort of you can call it relativism where i absolutely did not have any preconcept like i was cured of the idea that there is a holy truth or one truth it wasn't in mathematics of course my mathematical training in at, as an undergraduate was completely traditional and because it is completely traditional, your professors of mathematics are going to behave like mathematical truth is the best truth out there. They're going to stop short of saying that it's better than religion, right? Even though they probably think that. And they will, or sometimes they will say, well, it has an objective notion of truth and proof. And it's, it's a lot more objective. You don't have to have faith in it. Nevertheless, once I got exposed to uh, the fact that there is intuitionistic, mathema intuitionistic mathematics, okay? So, because I was a grad student at CMU, there was Frank Fenning. Frank Fenning is, he's like constructivist to the bone. So, so I was in his classes and eventually it started rubbing off of me. The fact I, I realized, well, okay, there are people who can be like that, okay? So it must make sense to them, right? And 